There we go. What's up, y'all? PDT here. Hello to my Facebook audience and hello to my Periscope audience. <clears throat> uh, I just want to make sure everything was uh, tuned up like it needs to be, as always. Uh, how you guys doing? Hope you're having a really good Sunday. <clears throat> so, what's my tagline? What's my motto? Okay, it's the same every week, and that is that God would have told you, or God already told you, what was going to happen if you would just listen to the prophets. Okay? I'm on every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Right now, this is my regular time. And then um, I'm on the second Thursday, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. for my No More Genie series. And I know I still have one more to put up there. I haven't put the latest one up yet, but I'm going to get to it. just been really, really busy. And then if you want to support me, there's links in my Facebook Live profile and on my, on my uh, Periscope where you can support me at paypal.me. And then also you can support me in Amazon Smile. Uh, with the Amazon Smile link, a portion of your, your purchases goes to my Profit David Taylor non for profit Okay? Fastest way to find me, easiest way to find me online is always to look up hashtag PDT because I hashtag everything I do with hashtag PDT. Okay? Today's word is going to be a prophetic word that I received from the Lord. Then we're going to talk about it a little bit, and then I'm going to actually obey it myself. <clears throat> so let me release a prophetic word to you first, and then uh, I'll explain it. <clears throat> but thus saith the Lord, For behold, my people, you have been in that fight for far too long. It is time for you to enter into my rest. It is time for you to have enough money to finish building your dreams, to live in the right space, to be in the right, the right relationship, and to get a good night's sleep. Therefore, my people, I release unto you a spirit of rest, the ability to get a good night's sleep with no stress, with no torment from the devil, the ability to find and stay in the right relationships, the ability to know when you're in the right living space, the finances to finish building your dreams, and an intimate walk with me where you stay in lockstep with my spirit as never before. And as you enter into my rest, you will not only find peace, but you will find joy, real joy, genuine joy, joy that comes from your heart that you don't have to fake. And in all things, you will give me the glory because you will see the fullness and you will experience joy on every side, says the spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. Okay, let's talk about that right quick, because what does that mean? Okay? This is a bit of a continuation from last week. Last week we talked about moving, where God said he was moving us to that rest, but today the prophetic word that the Lord gave me was actually about rest. So what does that mean? That means that, hey, Chandra, <laughs> that means that, <clears throat> number one, first thing the Holy Ghost said was, hey, blessings to you, and a God bless. First thing that... The Holy Ghost said was that we've been in a fight too long. Do you know that if you stay in a fight too long, you can get fatigued? Just like if you stay in the wilderness too long, you can get wilderness fatigue. If you stay in a fight too long, you can get fatigued. That means you just swing and you can see with boxers, you just swing and swing and swing and swing and swing. After a while, your arms start to get heavy. You just, you know, start to get wore out. And that's because eventually you need to win. <laughs> Eventually, you've got to have a win or else you're just going to get worn out. So the Lord was saying that, that some things we've been struggling with, we've been struggling with them too long, okay? So it's time to enter into his rest. Now, entering into his rest, what does that mean? That does not mean sleeping 24-7. That's not what that means. Let me be very specific. Let me give you some very practical examples of what entering into God's rest means. It means uh, overall that your life comes into full alignment. If you've ever taken your car to the uh, tire shop and they say you need to rotate your wheels and then you need to realign your steering, okay? So the rest of God means that your life comes into full alignment. What does that mean? That means in every area of life, you are on the path of where God wants you to be on. And there are seven foundations. I told you the seven foundations last week. Spiritual, mental, emotional, uh, physical, social, vocational, and financial. 
So that means spiritually, you're walking step by step with God. You surrender to God. You've given up the controls of your life. You just you have not just accepted Him as Savior. You've accepted Him as Lord, and you've laid down the rights to your life. And you told Jesus to take the wheel. That's spiritual alignment, where you're no longer living a self-directed life, mentally and emotionally, where you have the self-esteem, the forgiveness where you have the right picture of yourself inside your head and your soul, okay? And the thoughts that you're thinking are the thoughts that God wants you to think. Physically, where you're eating the diet that you need to eat, because remember I said this last time, a diet needs to be tailor-made to your body, okay? Socially, this is a big one, where you are around the right people, when you're married to the right person, okay? Because if you're meant for marriage, then there's somebody in particular that God wants you to be married to, and you have to be anointed to be married to them. Same with your friendships, that you're surrounding yourself by the right people. Same with your business relationships, that you're doing business with the right people to help you get to where you need to, do, need to go in your career. Okay, Vocationally, it means you are living your purpose. You don't have a job. You don't even have a career. You're living your purpose. Why was I born? Okay? And when you get the answer to the question of why was I born, then you're doing that full time. You're doing that for a living. And finally, financial rest means financial independence, where you're not stressed out about money, where you have enough money to live the lifestyle you've been called to. <clears throat> the reason that might sound strange to some of you is because so very few Christians ever lived that. <laughs> so very few Christians ever, ever actually entered into the, the Lord's rest. Because we've been taught that ridiculous, religious, uh, uh, incorrect philosophy about how, about how everything's about going to heaven, everything's about waiting till you die, that's not true. That's not true. When, when they, we sing those songs about we're crossing over Jordan and we're going to Canaan to the promised land, that's kind of an old Negro spiritual kind of hymn. That's not talking about dying and going to heaven, that's talking about in this life. Entering into everything that God has for you in this life where your soul and your body and your wallet and your relationship and your mind has rest because you are properly aligned. You're in lockstep with God. You're thinking the right thoughts. You're doing what you were born to do and you have joy in your life. Okay? You're not struggling, but you're being fruitful and you're being productive. That's what it means. So the Lord said that some fights, some of us have been fighting too long. We, should, we need time to enter to that rest. And when we enter into that rest, it will be all the resources that you need to live that life. So then the Spirit of God had me release the spirit of rest. Okay, now let me explain that. Whenever God <clears throat> calls you to something, he will give you the grace to do that thing. God never expects you to do anything he asks you to do or anything he tells you to do in your own strength. <clears throat> now, I know some Christians are never taught that, which is why so many saints struggle <clears throat> because they're trying to obey God in their own strength. No, it doesn't work that way. Any commandment that you see in the Bible, there has to be a corresponding grace along with that commandment to enable you to do it, and God will give you the grace to obey him. God never expects you to obey his word, obey his commandments in your own strength. So if God is calling us to rest, that means he will give us the grace to rest. So that's why, as prophets, we can release the spirit of rest onto God's people. Because whatever God is calling you to, he'll give you the grace to do it. Okay? And that's part of entering into the Lord's rest. Realizing that God does not expect you to live your Christian life in your strength. Okay? He will give you the grace. He will give you the strength to do whatever it is he wants you to do. Okay? And then again, it means proper alignment. It means having everything right on every side. And then he says, we're going to give him the glory. And we're going to give him the glory in all things. Because we're going to have joy and rejoicing on every side. What does that mean? <clears throat> that means that when you do a 360 degree turn of your life, every area will be fruitful. <laughs> every area will have joy in it. It doesn't mean that You'll never have to fight again. It means that the Lord has taught you how to rest in him so that you learn how to win your fights. Win your fights against your flesh. Win your fights against the devil. Win your fights against your enemies. Okay? 
And so, again, the reason that might sound strange to some of you is because it's not religious. It's not what uh, the religion, the, our religious backgrounds are taught, has taught us. But it is what the Bible teaches in Hebrews chapter 4, that there remains a rest for the people of God. That's talking about this life. That means getting yourself in proper alignment and entering into everything God has for you in this life. Okay? It's time for the saints to find their rest. And when you do that, you have genuine joy. Because, you know, sometimes people come to church and they put that fake smile on their face and they just smile, praise the Lord, and they just dance because they're trying to pretend like they're happy. Or <laughs> we are supposed to shout, before we get to victory, but sometimes you just shouting out of your will. Sometimes you just saying, I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. But sometimes you've got some struggles that are awfully heavy on your heart. Well, when you enter into rest, those struggles are over. And God gives you the victory. For some people, that's that's been a long fight. It's been a long struggle. But when you look in, in your life, you'll see peace on every side. And the other thing I want to uh, stress is that is individual. That's another reason why you can't measure your rest or your Christian walk by other Christians. Because it's whatever God has promised you. Okay? Everybody's not going to get married, but some people are going to get married. Everybody's not going to live at the same financial level. It's having enough money to do what you're supposed to do, whatever that is. Okay? It's having the education to do what you're supposed to do, whatever that is. Okay, so you cannot compare the rest that God promises you to other Christians. That's a huge mistake. That's a huge mistake. And sometimes we even do that with our spiritual leaders. We do that with our pastors, our apostles, our prophets, our evangelists, and our teachers. Sometimes you look at the way they live in and you look at that level and you say, how come I'm on that level, not on that level? Or how come my life doesn't look like that? Or how come this is working for them and blah, 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 blah. Well, you got to remember. If they're called to a fivefold ministry, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, that's a very specific path. And if you're not called to do that, God is going to give you that kind of blessing in whatever it is you're called to do. Okay? Because again, in times past, especially if you have a strong religious background, many times people can make the mistake of thinking that your life is supposed to look like the pastor's does. No, your life is supposed to look like whatever it is God has called you to do. OK, so it's individual. And that's why the first one, spiritual rest, means you've given up control of your life and you surrender to the will of God. That's between you and him. And whatever it is the Lord has promised you, whatever vision the Lord has given you for your life, that's very individual. That's what it means to enter into his rest. So please don't make the mistake of comparing your situation with other Christians, because it's whatever God has promised you. OK, <clears throat> some people have no kids. Some people have two or three kids. Some people have 14, 15, 19 kids. <clears throat> OK, it's whatever is right for you. If you've always had that dream in your heart since you were a little kid to have a big family, go on and have your big family. If you know that a big family is not for you and you only want two or three, go on and have your two or three kids. If you know that you don't want children and you know you want to focus on other things, then don't have any kids. It's whatever's right for you, okay? And when I say whatever's right for you, I mean in the will of God. I don't mean you can just make up stuff because that's getting over in the genie concept. I mean whatever the Lord has promised you. So when I say whatever's right for you, I mean the will of Christ for you because that's what's right for your life. So please don't compare. Please don't compare. Please don't compare. Just receive whatever it is God is telling you to do. Okay? Um, I've met uh, authors that write more books per year than me. I've met authors that write less books per year than me. Neither one of those has anything to do with me. You know why? Because I write the way I write. Okay? And I write at the pace that I write at because that is what works for me. That's what's right for me. That's what's aligned for me. Do you see what I mean? Stuff like that. Okay? So, again, last week we talked about moving to this land, but this week the Holy Ghost is telling us it's time to actually enter it. Okay? And what does that mean? That means you're actually supposed to get the breakthrough. You're actually supposed to get the finances. You're actually supposed to meet the right person. 
You're actually supposed to move into the right living space, go to the right school, have everything in your life aligned, and get yourself on the path that God has specifically for you. That's what rest means. That's rest to your soul. That's when you wake up every day and you know you're in the right city. You know you're in the right state. You know you're doing the right thing. You know you're with the right person. You know you have the money to build whatever it is that you need to build. And you know that through Christ you know how to overcome the devil. That's rest for your soul. Okay? All right. So I'm going to get some of that rest myself because it's been a very long week. But before we close out, I want to know, are there any prayer requests? If you have any requests for prayer, put them on the screen now. Now, if you put them up there and I don't respond, it's only because I didn't see them. And if I didn't see them, then as soon as I get through with the broadcast, then I will go back and pray for them. So if you don't get them on the screen, then put them, you know, in the comment section on, um, on my Facebook page or on my Periscope or on my Twitter. <clears throat> okay? Any prayer requests? Okay, I don't think I'm seeing any. Okay, where well, we're going to do a quick closeout. I want to thank you again for tuning in. Uh, so let's close out in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, O oh God, for taking us through the week and bringing us to another Sunday. Thank you for your continued love and kindness. Thank you, O oh God, for your promise of rest, that we can be properly aligned, that in every area of our life we can line up with your will for our lives, and that when we wake up every day we can have joy on every side because we know that once we get everything aligned with you, we'll, we can be in the right city, right town, right house, right apartment, doing the right uh, purpose uh, with the right finances, in the right relationships. So, God, we thank you for that, and we believe you in this life, Lord. We know that you didn't die just to give us heaven. You died to give us rest in this life. You died to help us get back to our purpose, to be who we were created to be and to be all that we're supposed to be in you. So we thank you for entering into that rest, O oh God, and we release a spirit of rest again, O oh God, on everyone that's listening, so that they will know that that is their portion now in this life to enter into God's rest and be fruitful and productive and have peace on every side. And we thank you for it, and we believe you for it, and we're greatly anticipating everything unfolding starting today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Okay, Chandra says, please pray for the salvation of my family. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you for Chandra right now. For her family, oh God, that you would touch the hearts as only you can. That whatever situations the family is in, oh God, that you would stir up your spirit inside of them or next to them or in their ear, oh God. That you would speak to them when they sleep. Speak to them in their dreams. Speak to them in their heart, oh God, and call them to you because your word says, that no one, can, no one can come unto you unless they be drawn. So draw Chandra's family to you, O God, by your cords of love, by your precious Holy Spirit, so that they might be born again and know you as a personal Lord and Savior. Receive eternal life and become a part of your eternal kingdom. Now we rebuke the devil. We stand against all satanic backlash and retaliation. And we command the devil to get away from the family and let the way be made that the light of Christ might shine and that eyes might be opened and souls might be saved in Chandra's family. We thank you for it. We believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Any more requests? <clears throat> All right. Well, God bless you. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get a little bit of rest myself because it's been an extremely long week for me. But I'm looking forward to the things God is going to do in my life. And I'm looking forward to the things that God is going to do in your life. Um, because... When you believe God, you can have rest in this life. You don't have to wait till you die and go to heaven. You can have it right now. Every side, you can be aligned with Christ. You can think right. You can feel right. You can diet, exercise, and sleep right. You can do the right thing for a living. You can have the right friends. You can be married to the right person. And you can have the money to build whatever dream you need to build. You can have all that right now. Okay? So... Uh, we're going to believe God for that, and we're going to be excited about what he's doing in our lives. And I look forward to hearing your testimonies, because I'm sure going to give you mine. All right? Thank you so much, and God bless you. Uh, amen. Well, thank you, Chandra. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, I'm here every week, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then I'll be here. I know I've got to post my No More Genies number five, and then I'll be here uh, in two more weeks, because uh, October is tomorrow. Can you believe October is tomorrow? 
Can you believe we are entering into the final quarter of 2018? Hey, God bless you. Greetings. The final quarter of 2018, can you believe it? The last three months, October, November, and December. Well, that starts tomorrow. So uh, our pastor this morning released a blessing, and he released prosperity, and he released a lot of great things happening, and he released a lot of breakthrough, and he just he spoke and released a lot of things over us. And when you sit under the ministry of an apostle, an apostle has the spiritual anointing from God to release those blessings on you, and uh, so does a prophet. That's why I do that in my broadcast. So I was just receiving everything Pastor had to say this morning because he blessed the entire fourth quarter of 2018 for everybody in the congregation today. So that's what I wanted to... Hello, can you email me? Sure, email me on my Facebook Live page. Uh, it's pd 2 Prophet David Taylor. Email me there. That's the fastest way to get a hold of me. Uh, also, uh, if you do want to email me, also, if you can't get to my Facebook Live page, you can email me at uh, prophetdavidtaylor at gmail.com. Email me there if you have a prayer request, because I'll be uh, more than happy to pray for you. Just send them there, too. Okay? So, yeah, so I speak the same thing over you. I speak blessings and peace and prosperity and rest for fourth quarter 2018. May God grant you rest and peace and joy on every side. May you have victory over your enemies. May you be blessed everywhere you turn. And open your mouth. God bless you as well. And open your mouth. As these blessings begin to manifest and unfold, open your mouth and give God the glory and give your testimony and give God glory in all things. All right? Amen and God bless. Y'all have a good rest of the day and a blessed rest of the week. And we're excited about fourth quarter of 2018. Amen and amen.